I'm Doomsday, and joined with me today is the tournament extraordinaire, Dio. How are you feeling about this one, man? Feels good to be here. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this matchup, especially for the Czech Republic. You mentioned they are resurgent. They have finally qualified in once again to the Osworld Cup this year in 2022, and they have themselves a pretty solid roster, all things considered. But they are up against one of the tournament favorites in Germany. Make no mistake, this team for Germany is one of the strongest in the entire tournament, one of the few teams in recent years to be able to consistently challenge the United States in the Grand Finals twice in a row now. So this is, by and large, supposed to be a one-sided affair here in the round of 32. But the Czech Republic definitely have a few picks where they can take advantage of some relatively strong overall team scores. Looking particularly at some of those hard rock picks. They have a lot of very, very good hard rock players on the side of the Czech Republic. Yeah, they do. They've got some great mechanical players. And they have an overall pretty good roster. Some very strong players on their specific skill sets. When they're on the right maps, some of these individuals can really compete, even against some of the strongest players. The question is, how does you know, how does this one work out in the 4v4 against a team like Germany, who we know are so well-rounded, they're going to be able to cover everything in this pool, no problems. Can the Czech Republic build a good roster to combat them on a round of 32 pool? That's really the big question we're going to be answered here, I think. Well, for now, both teams choosing to either ban second or pick second, respectively, for Germany and the Czech Republic. Getting the first ban out. It is free mod 2 for the Czech Republic. I think that's a pretty good ban for them. Germany does have a very, very good speed roster. But you mentioned Doomsday. They have a lot of very mechanics-focused players for the Czech Republic. So what do you make of generally their like overall pick strategy in this matchup? Because I think it's something to consider when you are that lower seed trying to take you know, a, a couple of points off of a top seed like Germany in this match. Well, considering it's, you know, it's an earlier round, when it comes to, you know, the extreme precision, well, the extreme precision, sorry, the uh, extreme mechanics maps of this pool, in other words, you know, things like the Nomad 1, the Double Time 1, they're not too crazy, right? Uh, and the Czech Republic, with their players, should be able to build a roster, a strong four, that should be, you know, maybe expecting two FCs, maybe even three FCs, if everything comes together. Uh, from what we've seen so far, we haven't seen you know, many maps, if any at all, with, you know, three or four FCs. That's enough to compete against some strong teams. So maps like that for the Czech Republic could be a good thing to go into versus Germany. Maybe more of the gimmick stuff might be trickier because Germany should be able to field a strong roster to possibly two, three, maybe even more FCs on the gimmick maps in round of 32, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm thinking. I, I agree pretty heavily with the overall sentiments there. Germany definitely going to look to abuse some of the more gimmicky picks, but actually just going into speed right off the bat for Germany here into the double time three. Senya DT, kind of a classic sort of pick here in the double time pool for round of 32. And it's not exactly what we expect from Germany, but I think they are a very, very good overall team in terms of the speed roster you look at their overall scores on speed from the qualifiers pool and they're basically all above three million team score so very very strong overall team here but you know the czech republic does have the ability to compete on some of these picks they had a relatively good team score on the double time too relatively fine score on the dt1 as well in qualifiers so if we do see some inconsistency from this German roster early on, it wouldn't be the first time we've seen inconsistency from a top seed in this round of 32 here this year, uh, then there's definitely room for the Czech Republic to take a point off of Germany on maps like this. Yeah, especially with it being the first map, you know, some players may need a, a moment to bed in, as we've seen. Uh, I think going straight into the speed pick, though, uh, certainly looking at the qualifiers, it seems as though the Czech Republic do struggle to get a four together that find a lot of comfort. You know, they had some lower accuracies in their qualifier scores, some good combos. But they are relying on a bit of a combo game, you'd think. Still early pulls though, of course. You know, the round of 32 is a little bit easier than qualifiers. So that might give them just a bit more comfort to maybe take this to Germany. But I think this is a good pick into the Czech Republic in this instance, really. Yeah, by all by all measures, they should be able to win the 
those. Okinawa, Neox, mm -hmm. Forzen, and Rising are all very, very good speed players. Rising, of course, this year, this time around, really filling the speed specialist role for Germany based on how they've played it so far. Uh, and of course, Neox and Forzen generally also playing those speed maps for them. Okinawa! He's been here forever. You all know what Okinawa is good at. The speed player, the hidden player for Germany. A long-standing member of their roster, so no surprises to see him in on something like this. The floor for Czech Republic. There's a couple of names that didn't quite play these maps in the qualifiers, but a couple of that did as well, of course, seeing you know, MNB in there. Seeing Pogus CZ in there. And I imagine we'll be seeing a lot Oh, Pogger CZ. No doubt, their linchpin. How will they do on the 240 BPM stamina then? Right off the bat. As far as comfort picks go, you know, going for this sort of thing is a good way to bed in. It's more about the tapping, less about, you know, some aim that can be an issue for the first map. But we'll see. Again, this is definitely a very strong pick for Germany. This is their first pick, but also something that the Czech Republic, not necessarily a bad team at, just worse than Germany. There's a lot of teams yeah. that are just worse than Germany at particular things, right? So we'll see if they manage to uh, prey on some inconsistencies from Germany. A little bit of inconsistency from both sides to start us out here. Slider break for Neox and a couple of misses from Orby to start things out. Orby actually not playing any of the DTs during qualifiers, so a little surprised to see Orby in. LeBron James and MNB, however, both finding misses there for the Czech Republic. Okinawa is gonna trade, but it's only Pogger CZ and Neshpi up against both Rising and Forzen, the two speed specialists for Germany left up. A couple of early chokes here from Germany, you know, the, the first map, the typical first map, you know, getting a few odd misses. Czech Republic could still prey on it, you know, we're only halfway through. But you got Rising, who has always been rock solid. Especially, you know, he's, he's a consistent performer in every tournament he plays, really, and you think this is a good one to bed him in, even if he is a bit shaky. Showing it right now. He's gonna need the hold, though. Bogus is still holding this FC for the Czech Republic. And Rising, the only one to match right now for Germany. Luckily for Germany, it seems the Czech Republic generally a little bit less consistent, a little bit shakier here early on as LeBron James and MNB find more and more misses in this double time three pick. Orby, to his credit, doing a very good job of holding the combo afterwards, but can only match one of Okinamo and Neox. And that combo lead and score lead just keep going the way of Germany on this pick. And at this point, 400,000 score in the lead, just a sliver of map left. I think it's basically all wrapped up for Germany. A nice, solid first pick for them. Yeah, picking well. Picking well here. Certainly, uh, you know, not too much in it though, really. It was just the early misses and then, you know, Germany found a couple of dodgy ones. But more or less, Germany DT. This is how they do it. This is how they do it. First point will go to Germany. Nice three and a half million team score too. Ooh, yeah, this is the kind of stuff you. This is the kind of stuff that you expect out of this roster. And as you were saying, Dooms, yeah, six one hundreds on Rising. That's a score. Got to shout out Orby again. Ninety eight point six is very nice as well. Very nice. The S rank from Pogger CZ. They're really going to need Pogger CZ Neshpi to do some business here. And so far. He's, you know, he's coming up with the goods. Now you were talking about uh, Hard Rock being a good choice for the Czech Republic. I totally agree. Hard Rock 1 sitting there looking pretty. No one likes Hard Rock 2. We haven't seen it yet at all. Uh, I'm not going to see it here. Could also dip into that free mod pool if they want to bring out some more of their Hard Rock players. Do you think it should go that way or just some other ideas? The Hard Rock 1 really it does present a little bit of a challenge here for the Czech Republic because it is much less straightforward than you would typically expect. So this Nomad 1, I think, does still work out pretty well for them. First and foremost, they're an aim mechanics team, right? You have very, very strong aim mechanics for this roster in general. So picking something like the Nomad 1, especially round of 32, low seed versus top seed into Germany, where you can just 
hopefully prey on a random uncharacteristic miss from some of the members where you don't usually expect them to come out. I think it's a very good pick for Czech Republic. As for later on in this match, though, I do think we'll probably end up seeing a free mod at some point. I'm not sure whether they'll want to go with that free mod one or not. Uh, they could also end up going with that free mod three. Given that it is you know, CS 6.5 after Hard Rock, I think it'd be an okay pick for them. They do have some Hard Rock mains on this roster as well. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. I think this Snow Mod one, absolute tune, by the way, some of that Katamari Damacy. Um, I think this one's kind of more comfortable compared to maybe some of the No Mod ones we've seen in tournaments recently. It's higher BPM at 212 BPM. That's quite fast for a round of 32, lower star rating No Mod 1, meaning it's lower spacing, more about fast aim and fast jumps, which is usually more comfortable for many players. I certainly find that. Although it is, it's got some tricky kick sliders as well and some funky patterns here and there. This one should be relatively comfortable. Maybe more so than maybe some Nomad ones you'd see with lower BPM, wider spacing. Uh, and it ends up being, I think, very easy to consistently combo something like this because of that. There are you know, a couple of relatively awkward jumps in this map, but for the most part, like you said, very, very straightforward, very consistent in difficulty, and because of that higher BPM, much lower spacing than you would typically expect from a round of 32 Nomad 1, so you end up getting something that is relatively simple for a lot of players here and hopefully that plays into the favor of the czech republic this is their first pick and we're hoping to see them perform on it uh looks like an early slider break actually for no never mind that was a bancho slider break for neox okay no early slider breaks for anybody here at the start of the map white cat neox thriller and shark in for this one for Germany to attempt the break point against Czech Republic. Public CZ, Mr. Nobody, LeBron James, and Nitrom in for the Czech Republic. No surprises on any of these members. This is, I believe, the same roster they ran with for Nomad 1 in qualifiers as well. Not quite. They had evident for that one, but yep. Pretty much the same, just Nitrom swapped in. Sticking with uh, the usual crew. There goes LeBron James. First break going to the Czech Republic here. Make that two. Definitely not the start you would want, but there's a lot of time left in this map. We're not even a quarter of the way through, and both of these players, Pocket CZ and LeBron James, should be able to bring those combos back up to snuff soon enough. But for now, it is four full combos to two in the favor of Germany. Very low combo advantage, though. Only about a 400 combo lead for them. Make that a 600, 700 combo lead now as LeBron James finds another set of misses. And, you know, if you're looking to try to upset that third seed as seed number 29, you can't really find lots of these misses during a pick like Nomad 1, where, you know, you're preying on a couple of misses during the middle of the map for the other team. So this makes the victory for the Czech Republic a lot more difficult. Hopefully they can hold on to some of these other big combos on their two FCs and on Pogger C's E, but Germany just looking unshakable right now. The lowest accuracy on the team is 99.4 and they have two SS's almost halfway through the map right now. Yeah, you're just waiting for those just odd breaks and seeing two from Germany at this point is looking unlikely, but it's no mod one. So it's always likely. But you feel like on this style of map, Germany would be even better than what you'd, they'd usually be. Czech Republic though, there's two FCs looking really good as well. So it's just a case of seeing if someone has a, a moment. Uh oh. Oh, well, we'll see what happens there. <laughs> Neox may be having a moment here. Uh, hopefully we'll, well get hopefully that not, out but... shortly. Hopefully that's not a DC. We are past halfway. So the abort period is gone. So hopefully that is not a disconnect. We'll soon see. Because the three FCs are still going there. I mean, so with you... how this map is going so far, they might not even need them, to be honest. This is still three full combos for Germany. And unless Czech Republic can match the three-way FC that's going on right now, they may not even need Neox to win this pick. 
Well, if Mr. Nobody breaks, then that might be very, very likely. Still holding an SS. I I'm gonna say it. I'm sorry, Krilla. He's a professional. He'll be fine. There goes Nitrom and LeBron James for the side of the Czech Republic. Not the misses that Germany was hoping for, but more misses nonetheless for the Czechs. And Mr. Nobody and Paul Gassizzi ba left basically alone against <laughs> once more the three-way full combo. Kriller finally dropping a 100. Another miss comes through for LeBron James. And yeah, this is looking very, very good for Germany overall. Even without Neox, you're still looking at three full combos to one right now. And only Paul Gassizzi with supporting combo for Mr. Nobody right now. No SS allowed, but it's still three FCs. The Germany no mod one, man. Oh man, there goes Mr. Nobody. It really is all over. All she wrote on this no mod one, it is destruction. No Neox, no problem. Oh my this is, word. This is quite insane, man. <laughs> This is a round of 32, and there's still 3v4ing. Three Crazy stuff from Germany. Oh my gosh. I feel like with some of the matches that we've had, I've come to expect, uh, you know, some wins and some points for the lower seeded teams now in this round of 32, because we've had so many crazy matchups, right? Where the top seed you know, underperforms a little bit and the bottom seed overperforms a bit, and then you get wacky matchups between these top seeds and bottom seeds. But this really is kind of what you should come to expect from a team like Germany, who is consistently at the top of their game year after year. Three-way full combo for White Cat, Kriller, and Shark is more than enough to win against four members of the Czech Republic, Neox or not. We're just talking about, yeah, no mod one. It'd be a good choice, you know, even the, the skill gap a little bit between these two. Czech Republic with their great mechanics players. And then we just saw that deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit unlucky for the Czech Republic there. Um, Although, you might not even want to chalk it up to luck because Germany was number one on Nomad 1 during the qualifiers. So, <laughs> picking Nomad 1 into the number one seeded team on Nomad 1 is uh, sometimes ill-advised, but in round of 32, it's, it's excusable, especially for a roster like the Czech Republic where you kind of are looking for just, you know, can we find a win on a mechanics pick somewhere against this team? It's always very hard to do that against the top seed. I think they had to go for that at one point, really, because of the way this pool is. Hopefully uh, they can pull themselves together because that is a demoralizing way to drop a point. But it is still early days. Germany with the next pick now. And well, they're winning with the speed, the DT3, the Senior Map working out really well. They could also look at the other DT pick, possibly, in Fly Away, which, even though it is the AR 10.3 aim, it does have a good speed element to it. 270 BPM, and it's got, you know, quite a bit of burst presence. Or they could always mix it up. I feel like they have a few good choices. Oh, then, going to Fimod 3. Okay, that is a little bit interesting. You know, Germany... I wouldn't have expected them to pick this free mod, given you know, we were talking about uh, this pick as a potential pick for the Czech Republic, but Germany is still a very, very good hard rock precision team. They did ban out the hard rock too, but on the precision hard rock map in qualifiers, they had both the number five overall team score and the next best team score after that. They got 3.4, or almost 3.5 million on Hard Rock 2, both times that they played it during qualifiers, which is some incredible consistency to have on a map that is known for being very difficult to consistently find high combos on. And to boot, they had relatively good scores on the Hidden 2 as well during qualifiers. So I don't think there's much of a reason for Germany to be afraid of this pick. I think the Czech Republic are okay with this pick themselves because they can you know put some some good hard rock players onto their hard rocks and hopefully tank the hidden and no mod well enough to 
eke out a break point. But Germany, very, very strong roster for a map like this. Yeah, absolutely no problems really putting together a roster for it. Uh, something interesting about the Czech Republic so far, I don't think we've seen Villas yet. That's a bit of a worry because he was one of their highest performing players. He was in, you know, he was in on the, the Hard Rock 2. Actually, FC that Hard Rock 2 in qualifiers, meaning he'd be really useful to be taking a Hard Rock here, right? But, uh, is he around? Is he here? Because you'd think you'd really want him in. Definitely would most of the time, yeah. But he may just not be around. I don't think we've seen him so far in this match either. So this is definitely a bit of a rough go for Czech Republic if they don't have Villas for this roster. As he was in on quite a few maps during the qualifiers. And he's one of their mechanics players as well. He is a hard rock DC main, so... To not have one of those mechanics players here on maps that you potentially want to pick, who had, you know, on those hard rock and DT maps that he played a very, very high average score, you know, 700k average score for Devaz on those types of picks. Um, definitely not ideal. Apparently, also having some trouble connecting Orby to this match. Hopefully, we'll get him in shortly for the Czech Republic. Orby. I have to assume in to take the hidden for the Czech Republic here was their top hidden score on the hidden two during qualifiers. So uh, one has to assume he's there to take the hidden for them. Yeah, it, it, it seems like he is their hidden guy, the, the one to take the fall on that AR8. There's a few that could definitely fill in on the hard rock though. Again, looking at Nesh P, Pogus CZ, Although they could put him on the nomad for the safety, I don't think AR8 safety would be his. I think he'd much prefer taking the AR10 decision, right? So I'd imagine, yeah, all be hidden, Pogger CZ on that hard rock. Maybe some other overmodding as well, I think, on you know, the side of hard rock for the checks. So he managed to get Orby in, so hey, that's good. <laughs> they really would need him here. He actually had a pretty nice ACK run on that hidden too, which. You know, did catch quite a few people out in terms of the act, so pretty comfortable when it comes to that low approach rate reading. That said, these types of maps, gimmicky free mod picks, especially early stages, really tend to favor the higher skill cap teams most of the time. When we see them in these early rounds, they tend to favor the team with the higher skill cap, the team who typically advances into later rounds. And uh, it looks like we've got some troubles getting Nitrom into the lobby here. So we'll probably have an abort real quick and make sure that Nitrom does, in fact, join the rest of us for this free mod three. But I, I think that's part of the reason why Germany picked this sort of map, because you do really want to take advantage of that high skill cap and pick really tricky things that some other teams just might not have a full roster for, regardless of the round that you're currently in. Yeah, and I feel like this delay is only going to benefit Germany more, knowing that they are in a good spot. Czech Republic, you know, maybe trying to scramble people together. Can, you know, can play on the mental a little bit. Just a little bit there. There's Nitrom back in. Nitrom's ready to get cranky. I love me some cranky. And there's so many good songs you can use in multiple spots in Attorney Pool. So you didn't see quite a bit of cranky. Hey, it's great. Yeah, very good. A very good artist. Has been around for a while in rhythm games in general. Um, I'm not actually sure. Is, is Cranky one of the featured artists right now, or no? Yeah, yeah, Cranky is a uh, FA. One of the very earliest ones, I believe, as well, and that was such a big get, you know. Cranky is rhythm game music royalty. Yeah. For so long. It's amazing to get him on, on the team and allow, you know, some of his music to be featured in those things. Now, Bancho's trying. You can do it. Need some words of encouragement. Bancho's really trying right now. <laughs> you can do it. If you really believe, Bancho, <laughs> you can do it. They may have to consider just swapping someone else in if there's too much of a delay. See, LeBron James is in. 
for Nitrom here. So are they just going to swap someone else out for Nitrom while he sorts his issue out? It seems so. We've had uh, a bit of a tough time apparently getting Nitrom in, and it looks like LeBron James can be taking the spot instead. Very unfortunate for the Czech Republic on this pick. It is Germany's pick, though, so, you know... If it ends up being close, it's very sad, but I think this was always going to be a three hard rock roster for the Czech Republic and just trying to take as good of a score as possible against Germany, who really have a fantastic roster for this sort of map. White Cat Kriller on the low approach rate, Kriller with the hidden White Cat on Nomad uh, is very scary in and of itself. Smarty and Neoct on hard rock as always very, very scary on that mod. Of course, Orby taking the hidden and everybody else on the hard rock for Czech Republic. Pogba CZ, Mr. Nobody, and now LeBron James rather than Nitrom into this map. You know, we'll still with the, the low BPM AR8 control on the no mod. It's understandable, far easy to read, and with this map being very cut streamy, having an AR10 for reading is quite useful. You are comfortable on the reading though, like White Cat is, very very good low approach rate no mod player for sure, then being able to take that no mod on a map like this that does get so much more mechanically difficult with the hard rock is a blessing for some players, and uh, he should have a pretty easy time putting together a good score on a map like this. So far though, only one for one in terms of the misses, Mr. Nobody and Neox both trading a miss back and forth with each other. Accuracy advantage really in favor of Germany though, 200k score lead basically all off the act and now misses for both Orby and LeBron James and suddenly this went from close to not at all. Germany pulling quickly ahead with another miss from Mr. Nobody as well, only Pong and CZ left to stand against the three-way full combo and the big supporting combo from Neox. Yeah, looking so comfortable. So even Krilla, the Swiss Army player, can fill so many spots at 99% on this. We haven't seen many above 98 so far when it comes to that hidden on this map. You mentioned it, the high skill cap players can just stick players on these mods that other teams struggle to get anyone for. There go so many players though for Germany, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, the whole team collapses here at the end, but they're already close enough to 3 million team score that they would probably beat most of the other teams who are left in the tournament anyway on this sort of a pick with that kind of score. Very, very solid stuff from Germany. Not quite enough in the tank for Czech Republic to compete and honestly even if they had Nitrom on that map I don't think it would have mattered that was one hell of a team score from Germany yeah super good really strong on that I mean just I mentioned how good they are the old break but it doesn't matter 800k 700k is across the board that's a score but Pockers is there with that one miss as well he's showing why he's feared but at the moment it's not enough Man, Czech Republic's turn next. No mod one did not work out. Where else can they go? Or do they stick to their guns? Oh, they're going for something left field. Ooh, I quite like this actually. Okay. Brave. Very. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Snap is polarizing, I think, for a lot of teams. You look at the teams who have already played this, and you have. Taiwan, Indonesia, Hong Kong up above 3 million. In fact, 3.4 million, the lowest score among them for Hong Kong. And then you look at everybody else who has played this, and they're all below 2.8 million team score. So there's a 600,000 score gap between the top brass on this map and everyone else, which is a massive score gap in terms of which teams can and can't play this sort of map very well. Uh, and I think that makes it a very interesting pick for Czech Republic, because if you have a roster, if Czech Republic has a roster that can play it very well, if they can join those top brass teams on this sort of map, then they're set up very well for a sort of pick where Germany might just find lots of misses on this sort of map. It's very, very tricky, like you said, James. I say no team puts maps like this in tryouts. So it's yeah. a case of, it's, it's such a curveball of a pick. They can throw off anyone. But surely Germany should be not too worried about this. But on a one-try basis, 
even maps like this, you know, precision, linear streams on some prehistoric map. <laughs> Who's consistent on that? <laughs> Unless you're a really old player. This is the true power of Dada pooling. <laughs> Having maps like this in a pool where you just have no idea who to predict. Unfortunately for Czech Republic, it does not seem like they will be joining the top brass on this map from the start here. Orbi and Nitrom having a lot of difficulties getting their combos to be consistent here at the start. But White Cat is going to trade on another one of those wiggle streams. These wiggles are very, very tricky. You cannot just cheese them like you would usually. There is spacing on them, and MNB and Nitrom find that out on some of these other patterns as well. It's just Pogba CZ left for the Czech Republic, though, on the only FC for them against three FCs for Smarty, Rising, and Kriller. The accuracies are really good as well on Rising and Kriller, and I think that is a big tell. Pogba CZ holding the combo, but holding on a little bit. it though maps like this a little bit of discomfort you can just find a random miss from nowhere but that score lead is already so large or and yeah Czech Republic are dropping their backing combos so it's really not looking good already even though Pogba CZ still trying to keep them in this it's Krilla and Rising they look so comfortable on this yeah, Pogacizi and Nesh P, very, very good player, has been this top performer for the Czech Republic for a while now, but just cannot seem to compete against the monolith of scores coming out from Germany right now. Rising does break the full combo, but I think the damage is done at this point, regardless of what score Pogacizi puts up. This is an 800,000 score lead for Germany, and there is no shot at a comeback on this for Czech Republic. This is going to be the 4-0 start for Germany, and you have to think they'll probably be able to capitalize on their next pick. Germany match point with next pick against the Czech Republic. Ending patterns here. And Krilla sealing that 99.3%, I think it was. Yeah, 99.3% FC. Is that top score of the weekend? It's got to be really close. You don't see many scores like that here. Krilla on amazing form right now. He has been for a while. He, he's been popping off in tournaments now for quite some time. If you're familiar with the tournament scene, you know Kriller's name. You know just how good this guy is. But was one of the best performers in particularly the Course Ace Open Grand Finals very recently for his team and a big part of the reason why they were able to take that win for the first time in the Course Ace Open. So no surprises to see him popping off here for Team Germany for the second year in a row now. So Czech Republic team score was pretty good though. You gotta say, they got 2.6, 2.7. Pogba CZ with a great reverse choke, 1.1 million. MNB as well with a really nice recovery. But this is just one of those matchups, man. It's tough on Czech Republic. They're giving it a go. DT1 from Germany. Going into that high AR, aim-centric mapping. We were talking about this being a possible one to close the gap between these two. But after no mod 1, how do we say that? Yeah, well... One thing that gives me a little bit of hope for the Czech Republic on this sort of map is the fact that Germany is much less consistent on the DT1s if you look at qualifier results compared to Nomad 1. Nomad 1, they were the number one seed. Uh, DT1, they were the number nine seed. Still very good, mind you. Um, but they had a little bit of tough time getting consistent scores. Their best score was 3.8 million. Their next best score was something like 3.3 million. So there is a bit of high variance there. That said, the Czech Republic, you know, 3.8 and 3.3 million are still extremely good team scores. You're going to have to pop off to win this map against Germany and keep your winner's bracket hopes alive. But if Germany low rolls a little bit and the Czech Republic pops off, there is the potential for that break point. It, slim chance, but it is there for the Czech Republic on this one. Yeah, I still maintain that this sort of map is a good route back into this because it can be volatile if you just have a bad run on a couple of your players. It's 
still no Villas though. He just must not be around. Oh no, he is. Never mind. Ignore there me. He is. He's, he's right there. <laughs> uh, well, they ignore me. They have him for this one. They've got him for this one. Well, that's actually a big, big boom then. It's really useful. Yeah, one thing to note: Hogger's season in for this map uh, was not in for either of their TT1 runs in qualifiers. So a little surprising to see him in in that regard, but. He's been performing so well, you want to have someone like that on the roster for basically any of your maps because he is a consistent rock for this team. And so far, the Czech Republic is looking pretty solid, Dooms. It is only misses for Shark so far on Germany. The accuracy lead is keeping the score close, but it is now on the Czech Republic side for, I, th I think, the first time this match, actually. That mechanics now coming into the fore. They are doing what we know they can do. This roster is so good when it comes to this, and now they can possibly pull something together. There is a break, but they're still in a good spot. Ooh. All right, not so much anymore. LeBron James also finding a miss there alongside MMB. Shark will trade it back once more, but that is not the member they need to trade. They need one of these other full combos on the side of Germany to trade. If Czech Republic want to take this point, it's still very close. We are still within 150,000, 200,000 score, but there goes Vilas as well. And once more, it is Neshpi versus the world for Czech Republic. Paul Grisizi, the only player left alive against the three-way full combo coming out of Germany. White Cat, Neox, and Thriller. Once more, putting up the fantastic scores needed to shut down any chance of a break point and any chance of a single point coming through for the Czech Republic in this matchup. Germany very clearly coming prepared for this match and ready to go as they completely shut down the Czech Republic. And that is a shame. They were looking really good early on. Just running out of steam though. Running out of consistency and Germany will take no prisoners. What a team score again. Germany looking like the tournament champion possible team. That they, we know they are. So good. That SS though, Neox, people doubted Neox. He's proven a few people wrong, I think. Yeah, certainly some questions about Neox's return to this German roster, how good he would be after very low play count and after a long time away from the game, but clearly still has it here, pulling out very, very good scores in the round of 32, pulling out some good scores in the qualifiers as well. And Germany, no surprises, taking the victory over the Czech Republic. I know some people may have had 5-1 or something in their pickums, but at this point, you have to come to expect this level of consistency from Germany after the way that they have played in this World Cup for the last two or three years in a row. They have been a fantastic fighting force against the overall tournament favorites in the United States for quite a while now, and you expect that to continue this year as well.